Psychopath 2, episode 11. And full disclosure, I'm hammered right now. <laughs> I just got back from a, from a party with a bunch of other teachers because I'm an adult with a, with a job. <laughs> and, um, you know, like, why end it here? Let's just keep it going. I wanted to get this, this video up by um, tomorrow morning, so um, I've been drinking too heavily to watch it, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Let's go! Psycho Mass 2 episode 11. Finale! <laughs> we are going to go the subtitles route today, so I don't have to think too hard. <laughs> so Kamui's trying to pass judgment on um, Togane, but... Um, um, Tsunemori jumps in and starts wrestling with him, so it's hard to, like, make the, the Dominator focus on just one or the other. Tsunemori does not suspect Kamui of killing her grandma. This show is so easy to understand with subtitles. Why wasn't I doing this from the start? Wait, so she's opting to trust Kamui, and she's handcuffed Togane to the wall so he can't follow. Oh, Ginoza has, has come across as Shisui, the, um, the the inspector that has become evil. But forget about that scene! Back to Tsunemori and Kamui! So, uh, Kamui has the ability to make his appearance change, I guess? Or maybe it's just kind of like the feeling of who he is changes. It, like all the children that died in that plane crash. Kamui is clearly a very messed up young man because of this, uh, this trauma of having to live with all of these people being a living dead man. Oh, and then they walk around the corner. I don't know where they're going. But where they're, wherever they're going, um, that lady is there. The chief. And she's probably probably still um, Togane's mom. Meanwhile, Togane gets to have a flashback about how he was an evil little baby. And he's remembering the time when mom was like, Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna go join Sybil. Someday we'll be together and it'll be awesome. But then Togane tried to murder her. Cause that's what evil people do. But she was still taken away to Sybil. And he says that the reason why he paints in for um, inspectors black is because he he thinks that it's a it's a way to make his mom shine brighter. Cause he's crazy. Oh, Togane, what did you do to your hand? Cause he is handcuffed to the wall, so he may have either cut off his hand or crushed all the bones in his hand. Whatever it was, it was gruesome. Oh, okay, so Kamui is standing right in front of the civil system and he's trying to judge it with the Dominator. Um, it all, it, it goes into lethal mode. And I guess it worked! He blew up the chief, who's just a robot, to be fair, but he did it. Sinemura is still just kind of there like, yeah, this is cool, I guess. So then he goes into the Sybil system and he starts judging all of the brains. But then Sybil's all like, Yo, what's up, Kamui? We acknowledge you and um, we are going to judge you fairly based on a collective. I'm confused. Whatever that conclusion was, Kamui's now under arrest. I think, I think, um, um, what's their faces? Sybil, um, updated how they perceived criminals, and they were like, we are absolved of all crimes, but you are evil, so you are now arrestable. You're welcome. And now, meanwhile, Shisui has all the bombs, and she's gonna blow everything up, and, um, Kinos is like, no, don't do it, I'm still in the show. And then Togane's there, and he, um, paralyzes Shisui. Just kidding, that wasn't Togane, that was some other enforcer that we probably should know by now, but I don't. And I guess that's Ginoza's closure for the series. That's a wrap on Ginoza. <laughs> okay, so Togane, like, uh, mashed up his thumb so he could get out of the handcuffs, and he's on his way down. And he finds the chief body robot, like, destroyed, and he's like, Ah, Mom, no! Maybe he doesn't quite understand how the robot body works. Because now he's devastated. Shimotsuki runs off, saying that she has other business to do, and all the enforcers are like, mm, we don't trust that. So back with um, Tsunemori, she's asking like, oh, can we please hand over the Dominator that you have, or I will blow you up. <laughs> Kamui is convinced that if 
Cinemare points the Dominator at Sybil, then it will have a really high crime coefficient and she could blow it up. Because it's all based on who is pointing the Dominator, rather than the person. And then Togane shows up to just ruin everything. And he's like, I killed your grandma! And Sunomura's like, oh, no, I hate you. So somehow through all of this, Sunomura is remaining pure and um, not explodable. <laughs> and then Kamui and Togane judge each other with paralyzers? Or maybe they're exploding? Oh no, they both explode. <laughs> Togane didn't explode, but Kamui totally did. So then Sybil's all like, hey, you know what, thanks for all the help and everything, but, um, you know, you wanna just go back to work? And, um, you know, just continue life the way it is. <laughs> like it never happened. Then Shimotsuki comes along, and she's gonna blow up Togane. Then the Dominator locks up and prevents her from, from blowing him up. And she's like, I just forget all of this ever happened. I don't even care, whatever. It's like, Sybil's great, the society is great, I, I love everything, it's fine, it's cool, I don't gotta think about it, it's good. So then, um, Cinemora, meanwhile, is like, what color am I? I think he knows it points the, um, Dominator at her. It's, no worries, she's totally clear. What if she's one of the people who can't be judged by Sybil? What if she's one of the, um, criminally, what is it? Like a, a Makishima type of guy? Shouldn't we just put her in Sybil? Take her brain out and put her in Sybil? So then Saiga sensei is going back to um, isolation. So then the series is kind of ending with, with Sybil being like, oh, you someday in the future, we will be able to judge society as a whole. But that time is not right now. So that's the end of Psycho Pass 2 and um, you guys, um, this wasn't made by the same guy who made the first series, so that's why it feels so different, but there is a movie being made, and this season two ought to be taken as a filler arc. And if that's the case, then I'm all for it, because I didn't love it. <laughs> it's so hard to say because I loved the first season so much. And, uh, the second season just let me down so hard. I mean, like, Kamui just exploded and that was the end of him. That, that was just the end of him. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm thinking back to it and he just exploded and then it was over. <laughs> like, why? It's so stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I'll do a, um, a series review for this show. Oh, I'm gonna watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm gonna be way too drunk, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Whew. I just wanna watch it because it's a good show, right? <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye!